Okay, Algebra 1, Lesson 114. This is on exponential key, exponential growth, using the graphing calculator to graph exponential functions. Okay, pretty much what you're doing is all calculator today. So, hopefully you have an iPhone. If you don't, I don't know what yours looks like. So, this is what mine looks like. Let's see if I can get it like that. Okay, that's what mine looks like. And on this, it actually tells you exactly what to do. So this is a scientific calculator, okay? And it tells me if I was going to do 2 to the 5th power, for example, 2 to the 5th power. Well, we know that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And instead of writing all of that on um, trying to do it in your head, especially as this gets larger, this five, um, you can actually do it on your calculator. So you can, um, instead of punching in two times two times two times two times two, you can actually go two, and then you see this X, Y, uh, hopefully you can see that. It's an X with a Y above it, okay? Um, that's what you're gonna click, because that's what's showing you how much it's going to go up. So it's going to tell you what your exponent is. So I'm going to hit 2 because it's 2, and then I'm going to hit this, and then they're basically, once I click that, it's asking you um, to what power is it, and it's to the fifth power. So then I'm going to put 5, and then I'm going to hit equal, and it'll show you that it's 32. You see that? 32. All right, which we know 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. All right, let's try um another one for example they did 1.06 to the eighth power so here we go i'm trying to do this where you can see it 1.06 okay and then i'm gonna hit my x to the y exponent and then it was to the eighth power eight equals and as you can see it's a very large number one five one point five nine three eight four eight keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Okay, and that's exactly the answer. Now, this is if you're doing a scientific calculator. All right, I downloaded because they're wanting you to do next is a graphing calculator. So I downloaded. I don't know if you have this app or not, but it's called Free Graphing Calculator. All right, so I downloaded it. All right, and what they're wanting you to do on this one, okay? Let's see if I can get you to see it. Okay, here we go. They're wanting you to learn how to do it on a graphing calculator. So, um, this two to the fifth power, where when you're on the scientific calculator, um, you put two was the first one, then you clicked x to the y power, and then you clicked five, and that gave you the answer equals 32. All right, on this one, you're gonna click two, and then it's got on a graphing calculator, it's got this little, Thing like that, that means what is the exponent. And you're going to put 5 and then equals. So, for example, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this behind this. Okay, here we go. 2, and then mine's right here, to the 5th power equals. And I don't know if you can see that. That says 32 right there. Okay. All right, and I actually did this one earlier, so here we go. Let me clear everything. So 1.06, 1.06 to the, that little up arrow thingy, to the eighth power equals. And it's 1.593848. Okay, hopefully you can see that. All right, so that's how you would do both of them. Now, let me teach you something for just a second, and we'll go back to the calculator. All right, that is the exponential keys, whether you're using a scientific or a graphing calculator. Now, exponential growth is this. Jimmy had 150 rabbits. If the number of rabbits doubled every year, he would have 300 rabbits at the end of one year, 600 at the end of two years, and so forth. So, for example, um, Jimmy, okay, we're going to put rabbits equal 150, okay? And that was at the beginning, so we can put a zero. That helps you, okay? Then after one year, we know that it doubled, so it would be 150 times 2 because it doubled, all right? 
And then year two, each year it's going to double. So 150 times two, that was the first year, times two, that would be the second year. So 150 is what we began with, times two because it doubled the first year, times two because it doubled the second year, okay? And then the third year, rabbits, the third year equals 150, and then you would go times two for the first year, times two for the second year, times two for the third year, okay? And that's going to tell us how many bunnies there are. So, for example, uh, I'm going to use the scientific calculator. Okay, so here we go. Let me clear it out. All right, so do you see how this is 150 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is really 150 times 2 to the third power. See that? Because there are three of them. So you can actually do that on your calculator. All right, I'm going to try to show you how to do it. Okay, so here we go. 150 times, and then you're going to go 2, show, remember on the digital calculator, you do the XY, and what is it, it's thir the third power, equals 1,200. So after three years, they have 1,200 bunnies, okay? That's how that works. Excuse me, just a second. Okay, sorry about that, my dog was barking. Okay. So, we did it after three years, okay, but let's, how much did they get the first year? 300. The second year would be 600. And the third year, 1,200. So, what would be the fourth year? Well, rabbit, fourth year would be 2 to the fourth power. So, let's do that. Um, here we go. 150 times 2 to the fourth power equals 2400. Okay, and if you just look at this, this doubled to that, which 600 doubles to 1200, which 1200 doubles to 2400. But if they ever just gave you an equation and said, um, Jimmy had 150 rabbits that doubled each year, how many rabbits did he have after 10 years? Well, then you're not gonna be able to do this by just going to this, to this, to this. You're just gonna write rabbits to 10 years equals 150 times 10, 2, and then to the 10 because it's 10 years. So here we go. Let's figure out how many he had after 10 years. Okay. 150 times 2 to the 10th power equals. Whoa! 153 bunnies. I mean, I'm sorry. 153,000 bunnies. 153,600 bunnies after 10 years. Okay. That's a lot of bunnies. All right, and that's how that works. All right, and if you were to graph that on a graphing calculator, okay, let's see um, how they tell you to do this. Okay, all right. Now on this, it gives me this little look, and this just means one equation, two equation, three, three equations, and four equations. They're just give you many different times that you can do it just in case you want to graph a red one, a blue one, a green one, and a purple one. Okay, that's how this one is set up. All right, so I'm just going to pick one of them. And they tell me on this, let me find it for sure, is that it would be a hundred fifty. So we'll write 150, then you say times 2, so here we go, here's times, times 2, and here's the up arrow, to the, and um, they put an X amount to show you what it's going to look like, so 2 to the X power, and I've got my X right here. So I click it and I hit save, and then I go back into it and I hit graph. Do you see that graph? Isn't that cool, that red little mark? Okay, that shows you the bunnies growth, <laughs> basically. Okay, now, yay for the bunnies. Okay, now, here we go. Um, now, we're gonna move into uh, 
this next one, 114.2 is our next problem. So here's what it says. The number of bacteria in the dish tripled every month. Okay? They started out if there was 2,500 bacteria. 2,500 bacteria. At first, how many bacteria were there in 10 months? Well, just like the bunnies, we did 150 times 2 because it doubled every year. And then there were 10 years, for example. Okay? This one, this is bacteria times, and see how this one doubled? This one, it says it tripled every month. Tripled. And then it was after 10 months. So instead of 10 years, it's 10 months on this one. Tripled every month and 10 months. So I'm going to do it on my calculator. See what we get. 2,500 times 3 to the 10th power equals... All right, so how much bacteria do they have now? 147, 622, 500. So, um, 1,000 million, 147 million, 622, 500. Okay, and they, I think, probably wrote that in scientific notation, yes. So, they, want to, they put a point after right here. 1.47 times 10, and it's to the 8th power, which just basically is this number. Okay? Just written in scientific. Okay? So that was lesson, or that was example 114.2. Now let's do 114.3. All right, this one deals with money. Um, so we're going to have to teach you something a little bit different for just a minute, okay? So James deposited $500. Okay, that would be like the 2,500 uh, bacteria. That would be like the 150 bunnies. This is $500 in the beginning, okay? And it gained 7% interest compounded annually. Okay, so it's 7% interest. So we do times um, 7%. And you can never leave 7% as 7%. You never leave percent as a percent in a math problem. You always have to make it into a decimal. And hopefully you know that just like 50% is 0.50, 7% would be 0 0.07, okay, so 0 0.07. Now, because we want to keep the 500, we don't just want to get 7% of that, we also want the 500 to be included. So just trust me, you're always going to put a 1 in front of whatever your percent is. So if it's 50%, it would be 1.50. If it was 30%, it would be 1.30. Okay, this 1 multiplies this along with it to tell us the total each time. Okay, so just trust me and know that you need to do that. So just like we did 150 bunnies that um, tr uh, doubled and for 10 months, okay? We're doing $500 um, um, moved up 7% every year and then 14 years, okay? Same type of pattern. $500 at 7%, 14 years. So here we go. I'm going to do it on my phone. $500, you can do it on yours, times 1.07 to the 14th power equals. Whoa. I'm going to make sure I'm right. Yes. So the total after 14 years is $1,289.26. Actually, 26 Seven. So I'm going to change this from uh, 26 cents to 27 because um, it was seven or five or over um, past that. So just rounding that. All right. Now here's what they asked though. So that was the final after 14 years. That's what if he was to take it out of the bank, that's how much he would make. Now let me tell you this. Um, so how much money did he earn after 14 years? There's that answer. Then it asks this, how much interest did he earn? Okay, so what we do is we take the 500 that you started with and subtract it, and we're going to end up getting 789. So basically, he started with $500. He didn't put another dime in, but he gained interest over 14 years. 
and that's how much he gained. So this, what he put in originally, plus this gain caused him to have this total after 14 years. So how much did he gain in interest? $789.27, okay? So that's how you would do that. All right, and lastly, um, open up that graphing calculator because the very last part is on this. So remember how I was telling you, let me open up that graphing calculator, okay? All right, and what it makes me do in the beginning, we'll try to come up to where y'all are. Okay, remember how it has four? A red one, a blue one, a green one, and a purple one. We're gonna do a red one first, so click, all right? And on the first one, it tells me, use the graphing calculator to graph this function. And I'm gonna draw it on the board with her, what they're wanting me to graph. One half, and then they've got x. So guess what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And this is in parentheses. Okay, not that important, but I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna put one divided by two. That's one half, one divided by two. And then remember graphing, you use this up arrow, arrow this little doo -doo, kind of like the top of a triangle. Click, and it's to the x power. And then here's my x power right there. And then I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back into it. That's the problem. And I'm going to hit graph. You see my pretty graph? Yay. Okay. That's the first one. All right. That is that graphed. All right, let's try another one. I'm actually gonna do, um, this one says y equals two to the x power. Okay, again, I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a blue one this time. Okay, the blue one. The red one's still gonna be on there, but um, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do two to the x power. See how it says two up kind of arrow and then X, save. I'm gonna go back into it and then hit graph. And now my blue one, you see my blue one? There you go. So we just graphed it using a graphing calculator, okay? And that is lesson 114.